This morning, I've been given something like two minutes to show you how to go from uh, your Azure portal and any of these service offerings that you might want to throw in here to a ServiceNow catalog offering. So I'm going to try to get through this um, very quickly. Uh, you can pick any of these things. You'll see the pro in the process. It doesn't matter a whole lot uh, what we pick. Uh, we'll call this quick demo. And I'm going to pick a site that I already have a network. And I'm going to pick a thing that it has. Okay. 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 Now, when we get to this review stage, uh, the, the key piece here is <clears throat> I'm going to download a template. So I click this download a template. That's going to give me this nice ARM JSON blob. Control C that and go over to Sublime and throw it in here. Now, <clears throat> normally to simplify a catalog item, what I would do is anything that you can see here asked in parameters is a question that we ask the end user. And there's a lot of questions. And so pretty often I would clean this up by moving some of this stuff down into variables and you know maybe statically assigning the networks or some of the uh, storage counts or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, uh, and then making those changes into resources as well. Today, all I'm going to do is cut out this location parameter. So when we make the API call, um, we actually do designate the, you know, where this is going to go. So I don't need that particular piece. So I'm going to control C this, and then I'm going to go into my service now instance. So here in the cloud admin portal, you can see that we have these cloud catalog items. Uh, I already have a few, you know, Azure Redis cache, WordPress types of items. Um, so I'm just going to create a new one. We're going to call this one quick demo. And it's going to be an, oops, an ARM template type. And we'll save that. And here you'll see that we now have this, you know, where I could come down to cloud templates and add a new one. We're going to paste the body of that in here. And I'm going to save this as well. Now you're filling out descriptions just for the sake of showing you how fast this is. This, this is our ServiceNow speed run. This is the slowest part right here. This activating item is going to go through and scan this parameter section. So another thing that I would normally do uh, in, in this is I would have policies. So our policies that we already have in place in this instance are going to take hold. So what's happening here is we're applying things like our naming convention and our lease policy and other types of things that we may already have set up to pre-fill some of the fields and simplify customer checkout. That can be tagging policy. It can be you know anything that uh, you can think of that's going to help simplify this. OK, so now we have down here. We have our cloud templates and the state is active and validation is success. I'm going to go ahead and activate this as a catalog item. And we will save it one last time. And then I'm going to go over to the user portal. So here, as I log in as a user and I go to launch a stack, we're going to see that I have this quick demo catalog item. I pull this up. And as promised, it already has a name for the stack. It already has a lease end date. These are things that it's already filled in. Um, I can pick a user group. This will control things like my quotas, what <clears throat> data centers I can provision it to. And then over on provision, you'll see that these are all the blanks, all of the parameters that came out of that template. Now, Unfortunately, I'm not going to fill in all of these uh, uh, to, to get going, but you get the idea here. So that's just a couple of minutes to go from a concept of something you need in the portal uh, to a template to a catalog item, a fairly painless way. So hopefully you found this to be uh, a useful quick demo of Azure and ServiceNow.